Hello and welcome back to DJ Fossil. So we're back at Sea Town again. Um, last time I came on my own, so uh, Jackie didn't come. And we had tried to come before, and it was so busy we couldn't get in the car park. So we're coming again today, and basically we're down here somewhere. And we're going to be going along here and up around there. That's Golden Cap, and as you can see on here, so we're parked here. Uh, the parking is only four pounds all day they've got an honesty box if there's no one there it's always worth paying because that helps the upkeep um, then you cross over the little bridge which is here in front of us right next to the car park and head off down this way we might come back another time and have a look off down all this direction because we haven't done this way at all so we'll do that next time maybe uh, but yeah we're going to do seat in the golden cap again today so uh, that's the way we're going to go next time, we're going to head down that way, but today, as I said, we're heading off our own there, so we've got people down there, I think we've got to go there, we're sort of hunting, we're just walking, and uh, we're going to head along there. The tide's still quite far in at the far end at the moment, but at least we can make headway. Alright, so we're just looking for small nodgy bits and stuff in here, and bits that have fallen from the cliffs here. Um, obviously don't try and get too close but I just spotted this down here can you see it oh nice balamite tip let's get some focus that's a really nice one shame it's not a whole one uh, that's obviously come out of here uh, but what we have just spotted up in the cliff if I can see it again oh there so but obviously it's too tight up, no one's going to get it. But just there is an ammonite. Oh, right there, look. Right in the centre of the screen now. Lovely size one in there. Obviously zoomed in, so it's only about two inches long from here. But no way we're going to get that. It's about 20 foot up. So it'll be luck of whoever finds it when that cliff falls. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep looking and uh, hopefully we'll find some more nodules or bits along here as we go along. I'm just walking along and just saw this lovely imprint here. Really nice. Uh, it's either fallen out or someone's dug it out of the uh, bedrock there. Uh, just remember that the site is SSSI, so no digging of the bedrock or cliffs. Uh, but yeah, you can do clay, but this isn't... Uh, technically clay this is part of the cliff face it's at the base of the cliff so but yeah that would have been a nice one uh, Jackie's just found these two lovely tiny balanites totally different to the other one they're different shape so different species and they are dinky but they're really nice so we'll be keeping those well I've just found uh, these nodule big nodules that have come off the cliff edge up there they are all loose uh, they're not part of the the bedrock. Literally, look, they're all fallen. Um, but yeah, I just pulled this piece off because it was loose, and you can see that in there. I don't know how well preserved it is, whether it will come out or not, because this stuff's quite soft, so it might not. But also, I just spotted down there lovely ammonite. But again, it's broken. It may come out in a few pieces that I can fix. Uh, we'll have. To, I'm gonna have a look and see. So I'll show you in a minute if I get them out. Just spotted this, uh, lovely looking uh, partial. I say partial because there's no fossilization in this. This stuff, nothing preserves in this. Uh, it will just be a bit of shell. If you were to try and take that out, it would just crumble and go to pieces. But it looks absolutely stunning. But like this, you see lots of bits like this. If we have a look at this one, we'll just give this a quick tap. So that we can see the edge you'll see absolutely no fossilization at all whatsoever it's literally just a bit of remaining shell there and same with that one so if that was on a whole piece i might actually take it just to preserve that top shell and it looks quite nice but because of these cracks as soon as you hit that that's all going to fall apart and it can be useless but yeah you get so many bits up here really nice to look at as well we we're coming along just another couple of foot from the last video we just spotted that that draw our interest 
and just above it in the mudslide yeah, it's that as well it looks all complete on there but again if we that's all loose look no fossilization so it's not worth touching it but it's really beautiful to look at and I've preserved the memory in video of it so it'll be there for people to enjoy and see for years to come because this rocks all in the mudslide it's gonna go on the floor very soon probably I just came across this rock on the beach here and spotted this beautiful patterny on there and there but again look I love those lines with the bubbles look at that I don't know what ammonite that is but I'm sure it won't uh, be preserved at all and Jackie just spotted this over here a bit of a partial and there's some and it's as well yeah uh, there's a nice big fall here and what drew my attention was these lovely imprints here um, don't think there's going to be any ammonites and then there's another imprint there but what I did see because the ammonites there's another one here the ammonites won't come out they'll be just pieces but what I did see this lovely bellamite in there so I'm going to get that bad boy out uh, they're about the only things that do preserve in this shaly sort of mudstone First of all, I've got that bellamite out, the tip end broke, but I've got that in my pocket. Um, but I also just spotted this lovely one here. Again, I don't think that will, that might be preserved there. So I might get a nice partial out of it. But the centre probably won't be preserved whatsoever, because they never are. Look, there's another bit of a partial there. You can see there's no centre on that. I just found this and it is a pyrited ammonite uh, I could actually see suture patterns on before I pulled it out of the mud uh, but it's covered in mud now so it won't show them it's pyrited um, but so it's not worth keeping it's really bad quality but you can see there you go there's the suture patterns or some some of the suture patterns in there uh, but yeah it's um, the center there you can make it out but it's too far gone so I'm not going to take that but yeah there are ammonites up here we're right up at the golden cap end in all the mud bits here and just you can find nice pyrite ammonites and other ammonites here as well so it's quite good but today's not looking like it's a great day for it well found another one of those a uh, big one of those um, pyrited ammonites that's all rotted I just found something really interesting. I think I've just found a giant, absolute giant dragon skull. <laughs> that does look good, doesn't it? Thought I'd show you guys that. It just uh, did tickle me. Looks like some sort of uh, big head with an eye. But yeah, not found a lot else. Uh, there's a lot of mud and not a lot happen not a lot to be found at the moment it's usually better during the slightly drier months i think just spotted that but again it's in one of those blocks it's just going to break up it's not going to be uh fossilized whatsoever unfortunately uh, but it still looks nice uh very doubtful that anything will come out of there so i don't think i'll waste my time with that one Well, didn't find it much else. Uh, a few small bits of bellamites, a couple of little partials, nothing much, nothing to uh, really show. As you can see, it's very high, low tide today, so unfortunately, you don't get to go along the bottom edge there, which is what we were hoping to do. Uh, but that's looking back at Golden Cap there. And um, yeah, next time we come, I think we're going to head down and have a look down that way because we haven't ever done that side before. Uh, we'll be doing that one soon, uh, see what we can find.